morning guys and happy monday i hope you're all well and having a lovely it's gonna be sunday when i upload this well i hope you had a lovely week today's just been a bit of a sorting things out getting stuff done kind of productive monday and yeah i just thought i would vlog this week alexa play atomic habits on audible getting your book from audible resuming atomic habits okay. television algorithm So it's currently 11 o'clock and I've spent the morning just sorting out a few bits, doing some work bits, doing a bit of tidying. And now I'm just heading to the salon. Um, I go to a place called Sapphire in Clapham. Um, I've been going there since January maybe. I actually found them on Instagram because I was looking for like a really good, kind of like a one-stop shop. Somewhere you can get everything done like your lashes, eyebrows, nails, massages, stuff like that. And then I came across Sapphire, I think it was through a recommendation and I have been going for them since. I absolutely love them there and they've kind of become like a friend, I guess. So yeah, I always really look forward to going in for my beauty treatments. It's where I get my nails done, but I haven't been able to get any like facial things because obviously you weren't allowed to have COVID, but the government have now allowed you to do that. So I'm gonna get my face looking all pretty. Then straight after that, I'm gonna head down to Brighton and I'll tell you more about that later, but I'm very, very, very excited. But anyway, yeah, I need to go collect my parcels from downstairs, hop in the car, drive to clap them. Please do ignore the washing in the background but this is my outfit. I don't really know if the cream and the grey matches but it's nice and comfortable. So this little top is Topshop, joggers are Topshop, trainers are Saint Laurent and this cardigan is from Pretty Lavish. Okay so I am in Sapphire lying on the beauty bed thing. Um, it's just really thin. And all very relaxing, pretty flowers. And yeah, today Shaz is gonna give me an eyelash lift and she's gonna do henna brows. And I've never had henna brows before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I trust her, so it'll be fine. <laughs> doing right now on my lashes? We are lifting the lashes and we are shaping them in the way that we want them to set. This is going to enable us to get the curl that we want so it looks like you're wearing mascara when you're not. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I always wanted to see what you do but obviously I can never because my eyes always close. So we're just taking the henna off my brows. Is it the henna or the tint? Sorry. It's the henna, yeah. The henna, okay. I look really weird right now, like the mask, the lashes. No, no. <laughs> so I've just driven down to Brighton. Ignore my eyebrows at the moment, they're a little bit dark and I haven't got any makeup on. But, um, Bobby! I'm vlogging. Well, uh, they don't want to see me. Yes, you do. I'm home in Brighton. That was a really long drive. <laughs> Oh, at least I still get the first cuddle. Can I have a cuddle? Yeah. You want beautiful. Love you. You smell nice. Thank you. So, the reason I've gone down to Brighton is because we've got a very special new member of the Hutchins household, and I'm going to go meet him now, so I'm so excited. Where's he gone? <gasps> <laughs> oh. I think he's dead. Although I did drive down the road, a road that was just for buses, that wasn't Whereabouts? You might get a ticket, Kate. It was in Merton, I think. Oh, is he eating it all, Kate? Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for him to finish and I'll eat him a big cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gone under the sofa. <laughs> so his favourite toy is this little ball and he just loves it. Come on then. Oh, oh so vicious. You were so vicious. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Why? Yeah, so it's your chance to shine again. It's been a while. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dad's just made me some um, honey on toast. <laughs> he makes these really funny little squeaking noises. It's weird because it's not like a meow, is it? It's like a whee! So I am sleeping on a sofa tonight with little Jasper because he's actually only seven weeks old so he's a little bit young and he's obviously and he's only actually been here I think this is his second night yeah and I don't want him to get scared or lonely so I'm gonna sleep with him down here tonight. My mum slept here last night and she said that he just like snuggled into her neck here playing with him this evening. He's an absolute cutie. But yeah we're gonna go to bed now. So good night Jasper, see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday and little munchkin is upstairs asleep. So whilst he is, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I slept with him on the sofa all night and he only woke up once and he licked my face for a bit and then he just went back to sleep. Good morning guys, this is my breakfast. Mum went and toasted some cheese. Little munchkin is just asleep on the sofa, so I'm gonna go eat this with him. I don't think I've even told you guys his name. I feel like yesterday I was very overwhelmed um, when I got in. But we've, no, you're not having my, no. But we've named him Jasper. I wanted to call him Crumpet, but um, nobody else wanted to, so Jasper it is. Good morning guys, I've already said good morning. So it is now Tuesday. I feel like yesterday's vlog might be a bit sporadic because I came home and I was just a bit overwhelmed like seeing little Jasper. It was something very, very special and a day that I'm gonna remember for a long time. It makes me emotional because obviously we lost Alfie maybe eight weeks ago or something. So when my mum told me about her picking up Jasper, I just burst into tears because half of me was really happy because I know that my mum was struggling without Alfie but then the other half of me was just really kind of sad because it was like an end of a chapter and the start of a new chapter. No cat will ever replace Alfie because he is one of a kind and he was my first ever pet. But yeah, Jasper is just a lovely little new addition to the family. Literally he slept just here all night long. And then he woke up once and he gave me a little lick on my face and then he went back to sleep. So he's a little angel. So plan of the day. I've just been doing some work this morning. I did my emails, did some product selections. And now I'm just waiting for my dad to come home because I need to shoot this outfit. Um, so I'm just going to go up the road quickly and shoot this because I don't really want to leave him on his own too long. Oh yeah, and I don't think I ever went through my eyebrows and eyelashes properly, did I? I might have. If I have, I'm going to cut this out. But yeah, I had henna done on my brows. Because I had microblading done over a year ago now. I think about a year and a half ago. And you're supposed to get them topped up yearly. And obviously I haven't been able to because of COVID. Kitty, who does my brows, I think she's just opened again. Um, so I'll probably go get them microbladed at some point when I get the time. But for now, I'm just getting them like tinted and stuff. So Shaz did a henna on my brows. I've never done henna before, so I was very nervous. But she did an amazing job. And me, it's basically just like tinting your brows, but it's just going to last. She said it can last eight weeks, but she did it quite lightly on me, just in case. So this is probably going to last like five weeks or something. And then I also got my lashes lifted. And as you can see, they're just so much more like wide and awake. I just really feel like it makes you look so much more fresh so yeah and she also gave me a discount code which is so 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 kind of her um so i'm gonna put it on the screen here in case any of you are local to clapham and you wanted to get anything done dad has just made me some lunch i've eaten half it already but what's it again dad um it was uh asian cutty very nice mm. and what's in it how do you make it uh oh am i still being vlogged oh hello everyone <laughs> um uh, good afternoon <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? How do you make it? Well, I'll get any kind of flatbread. So that could be, in this case, it was a tortilla <laughs> that just needed using up. <laughs> um, and uh, cut it into strips and then into small squares and stick it in with a stir fryer. Use lashings of soy sauce <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> Hello, guys. So it is now nine o'clock and I'm just driving home. Just about to fill up my car with fuel for the first time. I've never done it and I actually don't know how, so I'm gonna have to like do a little YouTube tutorial. Um, leaving home was really, really sad. 
um i always find it really difficult leaving my parents i just find it so sad i know it's silly because i should be happy it happened I'm not sad it's over but yeah it's always just difficult because i'm very close to them so this is embarrassing i need to fill up my car and i actually don't know how to do it oh you just push it in okay okay that's easy all right let's do it okay i'm back it was a success now i need to drive back up to london it's gonna take me an hour and a half hello guys now i've just got home i've got to be kind of quiet because fee's in bed um but look my room is such a mess i've received a lot of pr and stuff the last couple of days and i've also just been having a massive sort out so yes currently need to just sort all of this out before i go to bed um so i'm gonna put you guys on a little time lapse I'm now going to quickly pop downstairs and get any parcels that I've missed. So I'm now going to write tomorrow's to-do list. I've found that especially recently where I've been really, really busy, if I don't do this, I just find the next day to be kind of cluttered and a bit stressed. So that's what I'm going to do now. Get into some pyjamas, have a cup of tea and go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Good morning, guys. It is a miserable day so rainy but i actually love it i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and a biscuit these are currently my favorite biscuits they are absolutely unreal they're the waitrose white chocolate and sicilian lemon all butter cookies oh my god okay so first job of the day is to just edit this video I'm doing for a brand. Um, it's pretty much edited, but they just wanted a few tweaks. So I'm gonna be doing that first. So today has just been the most productive of all day. So I'm feeling really good. Um, I've just had such a like catching up, admin kind of day. I've been sorting out things that have been on my to-do list forever, like sorting out refunds. I went through all of my unreconciled, is it unreconciled? I think so, all of my receipts sent to my accountant it's been a busy productive day and i'm feeling like there's just a weight off my shoulders so i'm very happy about that so yeah just having a really chilled cozy day really um this is my outfit this jumper here is from a brand called sos activewear and it stands for save our seas and it's basically made out of recycled ocean plastics which is just amazing they have some really good like activewear bits on their site and i really recommend them and yeah this is just the coziest thing ever i love it then these are my white company leggings i like my hip dips are very prominent today so yeah shout out to the hip dip gang all try and remember that they are normal and not everyone's hips can look i can't even do it but you know what i mean look like perfectly rounded so yeah our plant is doing quite well if anyone was interested <laughs> i'm really worried about this plant because i've never actually liked any of our plants that much but this one i really like so i really want it to be happy and i'm just worried that it's not happy because like it's kind of like a bit broken but um, i'm really trying to look after it so let's hope it doesn't die and now i'm going to have a bit of a break from like boring work and do a bit of fun work well it's not even work but um i just want to buy some new homeware bits i think i mentioned this in my last vlog but yeah now we have all of like the main like furniture and stuff i just want to like make it really homely and decorate the place nicely like the piano here it's just full of random stuff for some reason we have got one two three four five six seven eight candles on there like why do we have eight candles on there so yeah i just want to decorate this bit really nicely also still need to get little plant a pot they're very hard to find online especially ones that are big enough so i might pop down to the garden center at some point this week just making myself a little bit of lunch actually i've already had lunch this is like another lunch so really boring but i've just got tagliatelle and some already made tomato sauce 
probably the most basic meal of all time but I didn't have time to make anything else. So I've just been uploading these outfits here onto my Instagram with all the links and everything. This honestly takes me hours. And then what else have I been doing? Oh yeah, I found a really nice lamp, guys. Look how nice this is. And it's only £38. I've been looking at other lamps which have been like about £150 or something. Um, and this is actually the nicest one I've come across. And it's so cheap. So I think I'm going to buy this. Yeah, I think this will look really nice on top of the piano. So B is now home from work. And we're watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And Bee just made this lovely burger and chips for dinner. Okay, so I just put loads more oil in my hair. Just the one I always use, which is the Bondi Boost Elixir Oil. Now I'm just planning some outfits on my bed. I'm kind of lacking in inspiration at the moment. Just because we are like on the cusp of September. And September means transitional autumnal pieces. And I'm just like waiting for that. Yeah, I just feel like all my summer outfits have kind of been done. Because as you guys know, I'm very repetitive with my outfits and I like to keep things quite simple so I'm just trying to think of some like slightly different outfits to my normal things um so yeah I'm just gonna try them all on now and see if they work or not ready for tomorrow when I shoot okay so I've just pulled this skirt out from my drawer I think I've had this three years now um surprisingly they do sell it so I thought I'd try this little outfit here I actually really like it the only problem is when I wear these kind of skirts, I really have to pose in a certain way in order to make myself look proportional. It's very easy. Shooting street style, I'd normally just kind of stand forward like this. But when you're wearing a skirt, which is very like long and straight, it just completely straightens out your body. So you kind of just have to make sure you're posed right. But I am really feeling this outfit. So I think this is going to be outfit number one. Okay, this is outfit number two. Um, it's a little bit big for me. It's a little Topshop jumpsuit. Um, but when I wear heels, it's kind of perfect. Okay, next outfit. This is a little Topshop. Um, really nicely fitted, like, jersey kind of material. And it's got a bit of a rib to it. And then I couldn't be bothered to change my trousers. So I've just, like, belted these on. But I'm going to wear these nasty old trousers and some trainers. And then, last of all, is this really cute Lorna Luxe in style dress. I just paired it with some Chelsea boots. And I know that this is currently out of stock, but they are restocking it in black and white very, very soon. Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday, just making my morning smoothie. Today we have banana, blueberries, raspberries, pumpkin seed, chia seed, and almond butter with some oat milk. Got all of my stuff got like so many bags um, with all of my clothes ready to shoot with Freya this morning again I feel like I do this every single time I vlog hi guys so on outfit number three now just getting changed in the back of my car like I always do the windows are tinted so no one can see it it's pretty handy on the way here we had a bit of a disaster and a fatality I ran over a pigeon and it just gave me like the biggest wave of anxiety I just felt so bad for this pigeon but the thing is I was even going to hit the pigeon What's my car doing? Or I was gonna hit a car or a person, so it had to be the pigeon. I think the pigeon was a bit old and like he does he didn't look very well, so I'm kind of hoping maybe he's in a better place now. So I'm just casually like chatting to you guys as I'm getting changed. Oh my god, my car keeps on going off. That's really embarrassing. I'm just drawing attention to myself getting changed in my car. Guys, today the cat calling has been so real. We've been harassed by men and it's just so annoying. So that was a good successful shoot. I always feel so much more at ease when I know that I've got a good amount of photos ready to post on Instagram. Um, it's just, I used to take photos as I just went. So if I went somewhere, I'll take a picture of my outfit and that's good. But the only thing is, is if the weather's bad or if you don't really know what to shoot, then you're just really stuck for content. So I prefer just doing it all in one go. Anyway, now, what's the time? Yeah, so we started at about half 10 and now it's two. Bye! Freya's just going and I'm starving now so I might just swing by Sticks and Sushi and get some sushi. If you guys are ever in London you have to go to Sticks and Sushi, they have the best stuff. Menu's like really cool, I like how there's pictures 
I'm excited. Yay. Okay, is this done? Uh, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna drive there now. Secured the good goods. I am actually so excited to eat this. I got far too excited and I started eating the sushi. I'm not even showing you guys what I got, but I got this. It's called the Mamma Mia. And it's like avocado and cucumber maki. And then also some miso soup. Okay, so now onto the next job of the day. It's currently like six-ish, I think. And I'm just gonna be filming some stories for a brand I'm working with. So I've just had a little look through the brief and reminded myself of everything. And now I've just gotta film them, edit them, and send them on to my manager. Hi guys and good evening. Um, so I've just finished work for the day and I'm going to start winding down for the evening. So I thought I'd show you guys my skincare routine. Um, so I start off just by taking off my makeup and then I'll take you through the next steps. I'm using their night cream and this is really lovely because it's quite thick so it's really nice to have on your skin all throughout the night because it really kind of gets in there and just leaves you with the softer skin in the morning and don't forget your neck guys because we don't want to be getting to like 50 and having a baby face and a wrinkly old neck so yeah let's not forget the neck and decolletage Okay, so I've just filmed those Instagram stories. It was like a skincare routine um, in partnership with Nivea. So that probably went live on my Instagram on Friday, if you're watching this on Sunday. So yeah, that's why I'm in my dressing gown. Um, anyway, the plan now is to make some selects. because I want to do like a going back to uni, college, um, outfit, look, book kind of thing on my YouTube channel. So I'm just making all the selections for that video. Um, so that will probably take me another couple of hours. And then I think I might be done for work for the day. So I've just been uploading Instagram posts and stories, going through some PR. And B is cooking some dinner. Ignore the rubbish. We need to take that out tonight. We're having salad and um, veggie fish goujons. Do you want to watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Yeah. This looks so good. I thought that was your camera beeping. I was like, okay, <laughs> We've got our favourite dessert. This is the salted caramel goo. I know the best. Actually, I think my favourite's the lemon one. They didn't have a lemon. Did they not? Yeah. This is probably my second favourite. So I've just been turning with B and tidying up my room. Now I'm going to head to bed. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.